Hello friends and welcome to another video. So I wanted to do a follow-up video to my video where I, co I compared um, the eight drivers tubes for the 300B or uh, Type 50. So I've got the Type 50 in this box, um, 300B in that box. And um, I was driving, one of the fa my favorites from the test was this tube, the, the 6C45P. Uh, I keep that in this phone, I don't have an original box for it. And that was sort of the winner for me personally, although I, depending on your taste, there were other tubes. Um, one of the tubes that I didn't have access to, which is the Western Electric 437. A lot of people use that to drive that with. It's a nice two single, um, single stage amp. And um, if you look at the capacitance and so on of the 300B, um, once you've got a tube, um, you really want it to be able to drive four or five milliamps. Uh, being able to lift the current into the 300B um, as that will take care of the capacitance and uh, the input capacitance of uh, the tube. Um, now this tube is also capable of it. Um, it's probably not, I would say, not as famous as the, I mean it is used a lot, but it's um, it's cheaper to source than the Western Electric 437 um, and had very good results. Now one thing I noticed generally from this test is that the driver tube has an enormous influence on the overall sound of the tube, far more than swapping these two around, I would say. And, and probably one reason is that these are of such high quality and size that a smallish driver tube becomes the limiting factor because of the quality of that. And another factor is these, of course, further amplify because they will amplify so effectively probably three times the signal of what this produces. And that, of course, pro provides a magnifying uh, lens for any of the deficiencies in this tube. So with that in mind, you just have to realize that the driver is of crucial importance, not to only to drive the output tube with authority, but the other thing is the sound itself gets magnified. So it, it has two two things that you're really looking at when, when you're selecting a driver. And um, now, after I did that, I of course wondered, okay, if this was my best indirectly heated uh, triode, how would a how would it sound with a directly heated tube? Because in my experience, I've always had very good results with directly heated tubes. And now, of course, I could sort of um, put it in the same circuit and test something else. Now, what I grabbed was the Type 47. Um, in this case, um, this one, the 47. And, um, well, in size-wise, of course, it's no contest here. Um, everything about this tube is more generally dimensioned. Not the wattage. Um, Although the heater is probably uh, far more um, capable of being directly heated of, of emitting electrons on demand far more because it's, it's, um, it's almost 2 amperes at um, um, 2.5 volts that is being <coughs> used by the heater here. Plate distances are, the plates are much larger, the distances are much larger, which would, which would lead to less distortion and more linearity in the tube. Now, this one has very good distortion figures, by the way. The DHT on this is very low. However, when I put this in, and, and very similar to this one, under ideal circumstances, if you just measure the DHT, the total harmonic distortion, with its classical weighting, these are, are, are pretty much in line with it, despite this being a pent-out and then a tryout. Um, however, when you put this in the amp, the the in an ex, you know, extremely similar setup with uh, very similar working points actually. The, um, I had the current a bit higher on this one. Immediately the sound opened up and what is what I've now come to learn as, as the, the typical DHT quality. So you get a subtlety and a nuance in the sound. So I'm, I'm not talking really detail, but the detail, the depth in which you can see in the music um, it's not that, that those details pop out, but there you, you see much further into the music. Um, it has a subtlety and a touch that, that that what I always feel is it brings you far more in touch with what the artist intended. And I, I for some reason with the directly heated tubes, they always do that to me. And um, so that 
that immediately became apparent. The step is not even close. They're not in the same league even when it, when it comes to um, the music. Now, was it ideal, the sound? No, because I noticed with this tube that it sounded a bit not as optimal as I have heard this, this tube perform. Um, it was a bit grayish, it was a bit dull. It, it didn't drive. I found that there was something wrong. It, it, I've now come to know also the sound of this. When the 47 is not properly driven, it becomes this dullish thing. And it, 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 the sound doesn't come loose from your speakers. It, it is, it, it's a bit more recessed and, and, and grayish or something. And so what I did consequently is, is actually drive the 47 with another tube. So I added a third stage. And um, and uh, by the way, I did multiple experiments, also using ultra linear with the forty seven and so on, and seeing how uh, how the gain for sound quality was alert. But then, of all those configurations, I actually tried and I, I put this two P twenty nine L, which is a uh, Soviet era tube. Um, it's a directly heated triode uh, pentode, a bit used in triode mode, and I used it then to. Um, drive the 47 in triode mode which then would drive the type 50. So this is a small wondrous tube because it, it doesn't take much heater current um, but it can drive like it, it is, has 3000 um, ohm uh, plate resistance can can sort of deliver up to 20 milliamps um, and it's very suited and when you put when I put it in here and I put it in by the way in a direct connect fashion so there is no interstage transformer linking that to that it's a direct directly coupled um, with the 47 so that um, and in despite adding a third stage which you would expect that it, that you know it loses detail it loses all kinds of qualities of a longer signal path the opposite really happened all the qualities went up, like uh, the detail level, the nuance, the depth of the music stayed the same, but it got this bold presentation and, and a fuller and fatter sound. Um, now I know from also how the 47, because I don't have the proper interstages, I'm actually using two interstages to maybe be able to conduct about 23 milliamps. This uh, 47 even sounds better, I know, at around 30 milliamps um, quiescent current. Um, and it will sound even better and that will directly be mercilessly shown by the by the, the type 50 however um, I've still got an int I, I at the moment by the way thank you to all my uh, sponsors uh, that have s supported me on buy me a coffee I've got some new interstages coming which were half paid with your donations um, but I'll report on that soon. It's coming on the way. I'll do an unboxing on it and um, you'll see those amp experiments coming up. Uh, however, at the moment, I just had to make do with these and, um, and and run this at a bit lower current. So I'm still a bit restricted, but despite all those limitations, um, it resulted in one of my better sounding amps, probably one of my top three designs of amps over the last um, couple of months. And... Um, and that is despite the three stages. So um, the lesson that I took away from that is that how you drive these, having these tubes function at their optimal point is crucial to the overall performance of the amp. Now, if you're interested in the design of this amp for the rest, what, I'll ha what I have done is actually put a PDF together where I have the schematic laid out, I've got the component list, I've got the whole um, report on how it was built, the philosophy behind it. Um, let me just have a look here at my PC. Oh, we've got Millie laying here near my PC. So um, let's just get into that. And I'll just briefly show you. So I've got a whole um, document here. Um, so for you, those of you who never seen, I make these available on Buy Me A Coffee, um, which is a, a pay for download. And what it does is you, you get the PDF with all the design details 
and I get a little bit of money that you have to pay for these and that way you get something I get something and it really helps my channel so but what you get is the is is a whole report on what's what's in the amp you get the schematics you get a, a photo of here of the amp that you just saw in the video and um, some other considerations and all the components including advice of what are our alternatives and what you should pay attention to should you try to build this yourself so um, it's a whole document and it's available via buy me a coffee so um, and I, I think it's just a uh, probably a, a nice way of supporting a channel where you get something so if you're interested in head over to buy me a coffee and see what's available there I'll uh, make it available for at a discount price for the first week and then it goes back to its normal price um, have a look because it does currency conversion and so on so I don't know what it is in your currency um, but it's not i think it's a reasonable price so um thank you for anybody that's considering to support me doing me there um uh, it really helps the channel and as i said i've got a new a pair of interest high current interstage transformers coming and that will enable me to um, set up some new amps with um with a sakuma style set setup where we really have a driver tube for example a 300b driving a type 50 or the other way around um which he would use to do however you just need a, a very you need a high quality interstates that can actually deal with those currents and so i've got one coming so i'm quite excited about it um it's thanks to my supporters so um yeah really thank you for anybody that has supported me there over the last couple of months um that's where your investment have gone and um, i'll be soon you'll be soon seeing a build on that anyway this was the video for me, the, the, the conclusion was clear. These older type tubes with large plates and large plate distances, uh, low plate resistance, um, large types, directly heated, they seem to be superior in every aspect. Um, now, there are some drawbacks when you go to more stages, but if you manage it carefully, I feel it still has a real future too. So for me, the, the type of things that Sakuma-san was doing with his amps uh, still holds true. And there's a lot of possibilities also in coupling amps. And, and one of the surprise packages to me is really this amp as a drive, this, this tube as a driver, the 2P29L. This is a re really great um, first input signal set out. So it can be driven with properly, I feel, with um, just a audio signal and um, sending that and it can drive the next tube uh, like the 47 it can drive it very well so um, it only has about nine times gain but um, yeah it comes at very little cost and this has a nice full bass sound it, it is um, very balanced overall but it just has a very nice sound um, i would rate it just under the type 26 but it's much easier to use because of its lower plate resistance so where with the with the 26 um, you run into all kinds of issues um, um, with, especially if you want to use interstate transformers so um much much harder to deal with this one is very easy to build with so it's a really gem of a tube um, so if you're interested in tube building um, yeah please refer to my schematics or um, have a look into what these these tubes can do they're they're all not that expensive and these are also very um, available their new production um, but i think they sound fabulous and um, at the, 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 if you look well and you wait for the special offers you you'll find them at good prices so i think they're very good options for um for uh, yeah should you aspire to build a tube amp anyway that was my follow-up it's sort of the revenge of the directly heated tubes um, hope you enjoyed uh, and i hope to catch you in the next video until then have a brilliant day thank you for tuning into my channel and um, and thank you for your attention and thank you for your support um, if you have any questions or comments put them in the comments and i'll get back to you shortly have a brilliant day bye bye